you want to take the blue pill, exit off the video now, forever hold your peace. If you want to take the red pill, well, I'm about to give it to you. You know, they test it on uh, eggs, put little uh, suits on them and put them in like cages and tested them near nuclear blasts. Advice from Jack. Turn and welcome back. We do all things art related and advice related. So today's video is some advice. So here's some advice. This is a deep subject, man. I don't know if you're ready for it, but I'm gonna dish it out to you. You're in the test generation, man. Yeah. Let's think a hundred years back. to know people on phones all the time like this on their touch screen 100 years ago there wasn't uh drones 100 years ago there wasn't no 5g signals going from towers to towers yeah see you don't know how deep this goes man so let's go down the rabbit hole are you ready to take the pill you want to take the blue pill, exit off the video now, forever hold your peace. You want to take the red pill, well, I'm about to give it to you. Let's think back, man. Sarin gas experiments, right? You know, tested on, uh, what, goats or something like that. You know, the visible cloud of misery. <laughs> you know, they test it on uh, eggs, put little uh, suits on them and put them in like cages and test them near nuclear blasts. You know, they tested small towns and things as such, you know, nuke town. That's a real thing, too. Uh, you know, They've tested monkeys for cosmetic products, animals. And they've tested you, man. Now, what do I mean by this? See, COVID, right? Yes, lives were lost. Sorry to the families that those lives were lost. But if you think deep, it was a test, man. Think about how all these other countries and regimes and you know, communist places control their people. So the U.S. is like, hmm, let's, you know, let's test this out. Let's, you know, we'll, maybe we'll put something. Who knows what happened, right? But what we do know is this. They told us to, you know, until everyone gets vaccinated, things will be shut down. Everyone was staying inside. That was a test, man. So imagine what's going to happen next. Now, this is all just, you know, uh, you know, like a hypothesis, you know. But I just started to notice things like that. You know, and if you haven't noticed, no generation before has had any of these technological advances. None of these generations before us had, like I said, 5G. What do you... You know, what? what is that going to do to us, you know, in 40 years? You know, there's not 6 billion people on the planet anymore. Now it's, I believe, 8 billion. And then I start to think, that's more people on the planet, man. That's, that's food scarcity coming soon. That's overpopulation. So they got to you know, put out certain music to make you guys commit crime against each other and lower the population. You know, that way you could have more food and things like that. You know, they want you to, uh, <laughs> you know, they want you to buy into uh, 
the Matrix, man. It just goes deep, man. That's crazy because a lot of people are so glued into their reality. They don't seem to question anything. I remember growing up, guys, they would ask me, or excuse me, I remember growing up a lot of people in school, like educators and teachers and things like that. They would always be like, make sure you guys ask questions so you're not like, but now I, I noticed over time too, when I got to like the high school level, you know, a lot of people didn't tell me to ask questions like that. You know, you just got to question everything, man. I could be wrong about everything, right? But I'm just seeing what I see, man. It's pretty crazy. It was just another, uh, you know, mass shooting in Colorado. I believe five people were killed, 18 injured or something like that. That's crazy, man. Here we are again. You know. It's, you know, told you the power of, like, social media. You know, maybe that individual was influenced by some, you know, insane individual, man. Who knows? You know, sorry to the lives that have been lost to the families affected and the people who have been injured due to another piece of shit. You know, take that energy that you guys keep hearing from all this negativity and use it to fuel you, which is the car, and drive and go and get down that road to success. Yeah, it's hard. Life ain't fair. Nothing's fair. When you become humble and just stay humble and stay as much as, as much, excuse me, as much at peace as you can, you know. But the subject of Steve, man, it's, it's kind of nerve wracking. I don't know what's going to happen years later after all this technology, you know. of advancements now man <laughs> you can only imagine how far will uh, artificial intelligence go you got people so distracted on their phone computer ipad uh i don't even want to say ipod anymore I just feel like I'm, you know the super smart screen tvs the the hoverboard stuff the, it's just there's so much man Touch screens on every single fast food order spot now. It's like wow, it, it's killing human interaction. If you hadn't noticed, that's what I wanted to say too. As we get deeper in this, see, it's killing the connection between what we need. See, humans, we need interaction. Now, me, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little antisocial, but I can be social when I want to be. You know what I mean? But. Even me, like I said, humans, we need that interaction, that person to be like, hey, what up, you know, and just at least talk. But, so, we're killing the human interaction. You know, the, uh, you know, human population, it's facing some tough times, man. That's all I'm going to say. Malnutrition is going to become more of a problem. You know, famine, drought, you know, global warming is real, man. I remember the summer, man, whoa, it was, one day I came out, it was, I felt like I was walking into an oven. That's how hot it was. I had to go back and, and like, walk under the awning because it was so hot in the shade. So I was like, if it's this hot, imagine a couple years from now, man. There's polar ice caps or the whatever glaciers are melting now at a faster rate. And when those sea levels rise, man, that's when those storms will get worse and worse. It's so windy out here, man. The, the wind out here is like, uh, I think it was like 16 miles an hour today. I was like, dang, this is getting extreme, man. 
This weather never used to be like this in my state when I was younger, you know. But we always go into deeper subjects if you guys want that. You know, I should make a separate... I'm thinking about making other platforms, you know. That way I can make, you know, people can subscribe or, like, pay a membership to get even deeper thought videos, you know. If you guys like stuff like that. Maybe I'll do like a motivation generator. I don't know. Or something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you already know, man. Stay motivated to do the things that she said you were going to do. Stay determined. And stay out of those fucking jail cells. Because the same things that you would do illegally, you could do legally. Now, what do I mean by this? You can, if you want to be, you know, a person out there who's selling drugs, man, why don't you sell some Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, Ibuprofen, you know, and do it in a business suit, sit at a round table with individuals and, you know, have a conference meeting about the packages you're going to distribute and send to a uh, multiple uh, pharmacy, you know, maybe Walgreens, maybe Yes, maybe, you know, wherever they distribute medicine, you know, to help elderly people, you know. If you want to be, you know, shoot, shoot, gang, gang, you know, we'll take that mindset mentality and say instead of on the streets, I'm going to use this mentality and defend the, you know, United States and, you know, be in their name and, get, you know, pay good and three meals a day and have free dental health care and education. but. What do I know, right? And so don't commit no crime. And of course, y'all hear that, right? Y'all hear that? Man, fuck. Knowledge, man. Deep subjects, man.